Okay, I found it, and the answer is that I just need to keep playing. <laughs> that, oh, I didn't mean to click on that. No, 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 no. That eventually it's unlocked in later chapters. I guess we are really on, only on chapter three. It feels like we're far through the game, though. I felt like we were further through the game than we are, but I guess it is still just only chapter three. So... I guess we need to go a little bit longer before we are able to unlock chapters or the other two, the other two difficulties. But I would have thought we would at least have like access to intermediate difficulty by now. I just wanted to, I really want to get coins quick so that we can buy those items in case there's some event that you can't experience unless you have them, which there definitely seems to be. And obviously we need that love key, right? We need to go to that love love hotel at some point. So I guess we'll just uh, be able to do it when we're able to do it. Um, all right. Um, so right, it's free time. So let's head back and continue trying to, trying to hang out with Maki. There's still a Kokichi, which is would be which is great, but Kokichi I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about him uh, him dying or anything anytime soon. Uh, where am I going again? Maki, I am. Maki is the person who I have wanted to hang out with for all eternity, so... We're only going to be hanging out with her. That's all we're going to do. Interesting to... You're back here, very... Um, What's the word? Nostalgic. Where Ron Taro died. Where that door that supposedly leads somewhere that we don't know where it is, where it is, is here. A fake door. Ron Taro noticed the trick to this bookcase, just like me. The only difference between me and him is that I had someone I could trust. I wonder what I would have done if Kaede hadn't been there. Hmm. Well, we still don't really know Rontaro's motives for coming in here and investigating. This is stupid. And even when we bring him back, he won't be able to answer that. Because he's going to be a different Rontaro. No way you can resurrect the dead. That's true. Rontaro definitely died. Kaede and Karumi died right before our very eyes. Yeah, let's hang out with Maki. One thing that is... A little bit unfortunate. All these characters seem to have like unique dialogue. All oftentimes for multiple points in the story. Like Maki has had like a different dialogue every single time we've talked to her so far. And that tells me that probably most of the characters are that way as well. Like if I talk to a lot of the characters, they probably comment on the current situation. But there's no way I'm going to go around talking to every single person uh, uh, every single free time just to hear their initial dialogue. That would be a pain in the ass. But there's probably some important dialogue hidden in there. Like one out of the 20 dialogues that I hear will, pro will probably be something that might be important. Uh, but I'm going to end up missing it because I'm not going to go. Like I said, I'm not going to go around talking to every random person to hear their initial dialogue. That would just be way too painful. So, so it's unfortunate that we're going to be missing that. Knowing it, knowing that there's unique dialogue all, every time. I feel like... I don't feel like doing anything particular, so I'll let you decide. I spent some time with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Yes, but we're out of the other, the other present. So we're gonna have to make a guess again. So she liked the strength training thing. What's something that's related, I guess, to all that? Vegetable oil, a cake, a dumpling that's modeled after somebody you swear you've seen somewhere before? What? Sweater. Cufflinks? I don't know what she would like exactly. A nail brush. A puzzle. 
sports towel, maybe? Or a sandbag? Uh, probably a sandbag would be a good bet. It's a three-hit three KO one, which means it breaks very soon, but still. Got a minute? I didn't think you would get. I, I would get something like this from you. But I have nothing to give in return. Is that okay with you? Okay, good. I think I found another thing she likes. Hmm. I, didn't, I didn't know that assassins were scouted. That's right. It's better if you didn't know. Also, there's no need for you to know. But gathering children from orphanages? I couldn't believe it. Wait, what? What is this? Is this dialogue we were supposed to hear is from? When did she say that she was from an orphanage? Did I miss that her last time, or is this a spoiler that's gonna come out in the next class trial? I feel like, cause I th I, th I think somebody said in one of the er my earlier videos comments, cause those finally started coming out in releasing at this point, um, that if you hang out with a certain person before one of the class trials. Like, they say some things that don't quite make sense because of the situation. Or, like, no, at, talking to somebody in a certain situation only makes sense if you talk to them then. If you say, because if they say the same thing later, it doesn't make any sense with the context of the situation. You get what I'm trying to say? Like, some of these, some of these dialogues like, sometimes don't make sense with where you are in the chapters. This might be one of them. Like, maybe they don't expect you to just only talk to Maki <laughs> at this point. Because I don't remember her uh, her saying that. Or maybe I just forgot. Maybe I just forgot that she said she was from an orphanage. Last time, all she was talking about was the cult, though. I don't remember her saying anything about her actual backstory. Hmm. Do, you want me to, do you want me to surprise you even more, then? Huh? Huh? Well... The orphanage I was raised at was run for that reason. So she is that an orphanage that was run specifically for training people as assassins? Yeah, sounds like a pretty typical storyline. Honestly, there's a few. <laughs> this is actually well, that's actually a pretty common storyline in uh, in games and in other media. Uh, um, what do you mean? Okay. <clears throat> to raise potential candidates as assassins. It reminds me of uh, uh, Arlequino's orphanage in Genshin Impact. Uh, raising Fatui. What? You don't know. Colt donates to the orphanages as charity. That's believable, right? I see. Yep, that makes perfect sense, actually. The amount of work I put in is the amount of charity given. That's how the exchange goes. Hmm. Let's see. How much is Maki carrying on her shoulders? Such small shoulders. <laughs> what are you talking about? Those shoulders could could, could bash her head in. But I, I, I know you're trying to say that affectionately, but... Still a weird thing to say, at least from my perspective. You said you were taken in by a man. Did he raise you? When did she say she was taken in by a man? What? She was taken in by an orphanage, she said. What? Are you asking if you raised me as an assassin? No. No, that's not what I meant. <sighs> you don't need to be so serious. That man scouted me and put me in a training facility. I see. That's... I remember you saying that your training was... That training was quite harsh. Yeah, she said she had to do push-ups until she collapsed. Was that when she was talking about it? Maybe she did mention her, her like, person who took her in then. That's true. No matter how talented you are, a child is still a child. Basic training forces your body to go beyond its human limitations. They physically beat us to help us withstand torture. And taught us how to die when not needed. Taught you how to die? What? Huh? How to die? Because the only option left when you fail a mission is to die, right? No, but I guess uh, they probably taught you that in order to help themselves. Dying sooner is the nicer way out. It's much better than being tortured alive. Okay, I okay. I mean, that does make some amount of sense. But I. I have a feeling that they mostly taught you that for their own selfish reasons, so that you wouldn't, so that you would die to, to not give out secrets. That's so you, you were trained to withstand torture. What do you mean? Would you like to hear what kind of training we endured? I don't know if we particularly would want to. No. Uh, no, thank you. I'll pass. I can't bear to think of what Maki has to go through. Had to go through. Well. After they tortured us, all I could do after. After was just stare at the room's ceiling. 
They tried to break me during training, but I was still there. They tried to drag my dignity and tear it to make me feel empty. But even then, I found myself. And then they would do it all over again. <sighs> it would have been strange if I broke during all the tor- It wouldn't have been strange if I broke during all the torture. But even so, I tried my best. Why did you try your best? What were, what were you trying so hard for? I wouldn't have accepted the job in the first place if I knew I could do it. So you thought you could do it from the start. Why? Most importantly, if I broke, then that girl would replace me. That girl? Oh, so she became an assassin in order to protect another child? So there was some sh other child that she cared about. And she wanted to protect her by becoming the assassin in her place. I see. Huh? That girl? Sorry. Sorry, pretend you didn't hear any of that just now. But finally! She's opened up to us and we learned something about her. Thank goodness. But... What? But... Shut up. That's fine. Just pretend. Okay. Uh, all right. I understand. Wonderful. Ah, this makes me so much happier. Knowing that we actually got to know Maki a little bit. Reeling from Maki's incredible story, I returned to my room. I just hope she survives long enough for us to get to know her next time. And finish off her, uh, her hangout. And then we can just focus on Kokichi. Still time until nighttime. Yes! More free time! Wow. We are blessed. We are blessed this time around. Jeez. Okay, she's right outside. Oh, I should, uh, it looks like, um, Kaito is nearby. We should at least just talk to him and find his initial dialogue. Let me see. He's in his room, right? He's in his room, yes. And Mew's here, too. I actually do want to, since we're here, hear what he has to say. Oh, it's you. Sorry, but I'm not feeling up to talking right now. We'll talk later, okay? See ya. Okay, he's not feeling up to talking. Kaito okay? Well, he's obviously not okay. Um, and I think Mew was here, too. So, I may as well, I might as well talk to her, too. What? And, man, man, Shuichi, you're looking even more pent up than usual. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> even though it might not be safe to ask. <laughs> No, no, no. We don't need you to help us relieve our, our, our pent-up urges or whatever it is you're gonna say. We're good. We already got our man's fantasy. Alright, where is- there you are. Right, before we do this, again, always save first. Never forget to save your game, although I believe we have more of whatever it is we gave her last time, right? I think it was the punching bag. So we should be fine. Hey. Kaito alright? Complains about others, but can't even take care of himself. A responsible idiot. Been hang out with Maki for a while? Yes. Is that so? I was about to go on a walk. You can tag along if you want. Spend some time strolling around the courtyard with Maki. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Alright, let's give her another punching bag. We're gonna need to give her something different next time. Hmm. Or the last one. At least I think it's the last one. Hmm, you must not worry a lot if you're giving presents in a situation like this. Well, it's not like I mind, I'll take it. Hey. That was different than what she said before. You look like you want to ask something. Huh? I do? <sighs> well, whatever. I told you to pretend like you didn't hear anything. Oh, about what she said last time? About the other person that she was trying to protect? But I can't take back what I said. Hey. You're wondering who that girl is, right? She's a close friend from the orphanage. Hmm. Close friend? Yeah, she had a friend at that time. What is it? Why do you look so re why do you look so relieved? He's relieved that you had a friend. Hmm. Uh, I do? Weirdo. 
Yeah, you do. It's gross, you weirdo. <laughs> gross. Uh, um... uh, I'm just glad that you have a friend like that in your life. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. I see. That's why you're making a gross face. Back at the orphanage, I was a normal crit, a normal kid. Is she angry about something? Sorry. I'm sorry. So what? That's fine. Um. What do you mean when you said she would take your place? I see. Scouts had their eyes on her first, not me. Huh? What? Because. I had enough talent, but she had even more talent. Oh? She was very kind, a cryberry, crybaby who easily got lonely, but tried to be strong. If she had been taken to such a place, then she would have lived her life crying forever. That's why I volunteered to go. I see. That's why she had such resolve and was able to make it through everything. At the time, I had no idea what was in store for me as an assassin. But I endured the training. If she had gone through this, she would have died. That's why I was so desperate to do my best. Yeah, that's what I thought. And also, as I thought, her saying that she was the ultimate child caregiver does relate somewhat to her backstory. She wanted to care for a child. And also, the other part of what I said, where maybe she had a really difficult childhood, and so she was not, did not have good care taken of her as a child, and wants to give that to other people instead. That the, the child care that she did not get. And I was kind of right about that too, so. So she wasn't just doing it for the orphanage, she was doing it for her friend as well. Okay. Being with her was really fun. But why did either of you have to join? Oop. I didn't mean to skip past that. Why did either of, uh, well, I, oh no, I, I already read it, so it's fine. Why did either of them have to join? They said that they were scouted by the orphanage or, or, or whatever. They were got by the, the orphanage went to grab them or something. I guess they didn't have any choice as ch much choice as children, but I feel like the better option would have been for just her to escape with her sister and not join the orphanage at all. So that neither of them would have to become assassins. That's what I would think, but who knows? I don't know their circumstances. We would wear matching outfits, bake sweets, and exchange them. We would get in trouble with our teacher because we would talk late into the night. We played house often with the other kids at the orphanage. She would play as the mom, and I would play as the dad. <laughs> well, neither of us knew our parents, so the only thing we could do was imagine it. Surprisingly cute. <laughs> that was fun. I gotta say that was surprisingly cute. That's surprisingly cute. What is it? But what are you saying? I don't see things like cute. That kind of thing doesn't exist in my heart. Well, clearly it does. Or at least it did back then, and you said you didn't fully lose yourself. No. No, I really think so. I'm sure you'd make a good dad. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Stop imagining whatever it is you're thinking. Perfect. Lockheed's report card has been updated. Just one away. Maki shared more stories about the orphanage with me. Deep down, Maki, just like any of us. Okay, this gives me a lot of hope that Maki is going to survive whatever is coming up next. Which I'm happy about. The fact that I was able to hang out with her this whole time. Dot dot dot. Anyway, I suppose it's nighttime. Then again, we couldn't hang out with her at the very start, and so that intentionally prevented us from fully maxing out her, her hangout this time. Is that intentional as well? Angie established a curfew at nighttime. I wonder what will happen to, what will happen to training. That's true. I should go see what Kaito has to say about this. I'm worried about him. Okay. Kaito, Kaito, Kaito. No, let's talk to Maki instead. Go to see his- okay, fine. <laughs> fine. Hmm. I wonder if Kaito's okay. I hope he's feeling a little better. I guess I was out to ring the bell. Oh, he came out. Door to Kaito's room opened and out came. Oh. 
Maki. Ah, oh. ah, oh, Maki. What's she so upset about? You mad? Okay. Uh, uh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. I gotta apologize to you too. Well. Told me he was going to skip today's training too. I knew it. Well, he still doesn't feel well. My bad. Pathetic, but I haven't been able to eat or sleep much since yesterday. I think it'll get better if I just rest a little longer, you know? Okay. Yeah, sure, Kaito. Do what you have to do. Nah. We have to reschedule our reschedule our training sessions either way, come to think of it. Student Council said being out after nighttime was prohibited, right? Huh? Well... I told you. If you're feeling sick, that's one thing, but I don't want you to change the training schedule. You don't need to do that. I see. Really? But... No. I don't want to skip it. So I'll, it'll just be the two of us training today. Huh? But what? Really? What do you mean? You don't want to? Do you mean to die? <laughs> huh? To die? Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's just an old habit. Pretend you didn't hear that. Yeah, I figured. I figured that's what it was. I didn't know such a habit existed. Well... Anyway, I don't want to give up now. Yeah, I... I approve, Maki. Finally started to think about... How I can confront it, confront how I can confront it. Okay. So if I have to train alone, so be it. Dot dot dot. What's wrong, Kaito? Be honest with us. Uh, um... Maybe it's just because you're not feeling well, but that's really unlike you, Kaito. I never imagined that you would obey Angie. I thought you'd do whatever you, you did, whatever you wanted. Does and did Angie threaten him somehow? My bad. Michi, I'm sorry, but can I leave the training to you until I'm feeling better? Okay. Uh, of course, Kaito. He nodded firmly, then chased after Maki and headed to the courtyard. Did he have something in his hand there? Couldn't tell. Weird, the pose he was in. Hey! Maki, about Kaito, you shouldn't worry about it. Yes, you should! You should be worrying about it too, Shuichi! Just feeling a little weak because he's sick. I'm sure he's not. Yeah, <laughs> I agree, Maki. The body stiffened on impulse. Maki's eyes and the entire aura surrounding her had completely changed. Her glare was blazing hot, yet icy cold at the same time. Her very essence was that of ice and fire. Uh, um. M Maki? Her glare wasn't aimed at me, it was right past me. Angie, I'm sure. Uh, such intense hostility. Enko? So this is your power. A normal person would have passed out just from that glare. Huh? Tenko? I... You probably want me to leave, right? But I won't run away. Well... I'm not here to fight you. And I don't think you're here to enforce the curfew. Huh? What? Okay, so she's not? That's right! That's right, Maki. I'm not here as a student council member. I'm here to ask you a favor. A personal favor. Uh, um... A favor from us? Hey. I don't think she's with the student council. She doesn't sound brainwashed. <laughs> what? <laughs> you're, you're saying that she, there's a sound to her being brainwashed? I mean, maybe she went into the council just to try to help get uh, Himiko out of it. Because we did ask her about how she's okay with what happened like between Anji and Himiko, how Himiko was brainwashed by her. And she's, uh, but I think it's, she's not actually okay with it. Um... Yeah, I'm not brainwashed at all. What? I think that is good. That is, that is a big win actually. That is a big win that she's not brainwashed because that means that uh, the only person on Angie's side that is a true threat is Gonta. And Gonta can be reasoned with. It won't truly try to hurt anybody. So if Tenko is on our side, is actually on our side, then I'm I'm feeling way better about this. Well, Despite how much it, her uh, personality has issues. You're not brainwashed. Does that mean you willingly join the student council? It sounds worse. No, I know. I understand why she did. Hey, Tenko, what are you talking about? I thought you believed in Atua. No. I could never believe in Angie's God. Huh? What? Listen up. I only believe in Aikido. As long as I have that, I can't be swayed by anything. 
Aikido values mental fortitude, and Aikido moves are a reflection of that fortitude. Thanks to Aikido, my mental fortitude is too mighty to succumb to Angie's brainwashing. Then... But does Angie know? Did Angie notice that you're not being brainwashed? You just pretend to be brainwashed? Why would you do that? Hey! It's because you're worried about Himiko, aren't you? Yes! Good job, Shuichi! You got your brain cells back! I was worried about Shuichi's brain cells for a while there. But it looks like Shuichi has got a few of his brain cells about working again. That's good. You pretended to be brainwashed to join the student council, right? Um... I think Himiko has gotten so lazy, she's given up on thinking for herself. That's why she's depending on Angie, but I think Angie's dangerous. That's right! The student council ca council idolizes Angie so much, they don't see how dangerous she is. That became clear to me after I infiltrated the student council. Angie truly believes in Atua. She believes that she is under Atua's protection. That's why she does whatever she wants. She thinks she's Atua's vessel, so she doesn't feel guilty about anything she does. Mm. Yeah. And that's why you want me to kill her? Huh? Huh? Well... Asking someone like me for a favor can only mean one thing. Uh, yeah. I won't deny that. I, I wanted her gone even before all this happened. And I think everyone has wanted someone to die at least once in their life. Listen up! But going through with it is a different thing. It's wrong for a person to commit murder. It doesn't matter what the reason is. Well... Do you realize who you're talking to? Oh, I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. I... I just want to stop Angie. The resurrection ritual is too dangerous to try. Why? I wonder what would happen. I, I wonder if there there's going to be some side effect to resurrecting somebody. Like... Am I wrong about, like, the clone thing and, like, putting ba back their old memories? Is it going to be something where they're put into a robot body? Or is it going to be where... The other person comes back, but it possesses somebody else's body. I don't know. You never know with Monokuma. It's a monkey's paw kind of situation. If we go along with Monokuma's motives, it could live, lead to another killing. But... But the student council won't defy Angie, and I can't stop her on my own. Please! That's why I came to ask you two. You're the only ones who can stop Angie. Huh? Only us? Uh, yes. Well, I, I obviously can't ask Kokichi, Mew, or Kyo. And Kyo. And Kaito's not feeling well, you know? Hmm. That's true. I see, you didn't have many options. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's true. Please! But please help me! You have to convince Angie not to perform the ritual! I'm begging you! Inko bowed down as deep as she could. Well... Well then, let's go! Huh? W what? Oh, we didn't even answer yet! Degenerate males. Quit complaining and do this favor for me, you degenerate. Hmm. He's bowing to you, and I would never do that for any male. Not the best thing to say from someone to someone you need a favor from. You. You're very sincere. I can tell that you're not used to asking others for help. By the way. So, what will you do, Shuichi? It seems like something you'd ignore. Something I I'd ignore? Who do you think I am? Yeah, he never ignores people asking for help, really. No. No, I'll do it. I was just thinking is all. I agree with Tenko that it's dangerous to go along with Monokuma's motive. Hey! Degenerate male! Then do something about it already! I thought males were supposed to be decisive! Sneak attack! I guess I'll forgive you though. Now let's go convince Angie together! You should be preparing for the ritual right now in the Ultimate Artist Lab. I don't think convincing her Angie is the way to go. I think convincing everybody else other than Angie is the way to go. Huh? Together? I'm going to? Huh. Of course! I wouldn't ask just Shuichi for help. I just agreed to help, and this is how you treat me? But the stuff with Kaito still worries me. I feel like that's the biggest issue right now, not whatever Angie... And I feel like Angie's connected to that, but I feel like that's a key part of her plan, is whatever's happening with uh, Kaito. Man. Oh well. I'll just go to Angie's lab. Okay, off we go to Angie's lab. Where was it again? Top floor? I think that's right, right? Wait, there's someone in the hall? Oh, Koki Kokichi! My bestest friend! Oh? Hmm? This is 
is an unusual group of people. Franco's a student council member, so I guess why she's here. But Shuichi, Maki, you guys even allowed to be here? It's already nighttime. <laughs> what about you, Kokichi? You don't seem to care either. <gasps> ah! I, I was just keeping watch for anyone out during nighttime hours. Uh, and then I caught these two roaming around. I... Yep, I'm just doing my job as a student council member. Since I'm on the student council. And go fiak that enthusiastic, you'll come across as suspicious. I'm ready! Kokichi, go back to your room and sleep. Hmm. Oh, I see you take your job very seriously. But you shouldn't lie. Uh, what? <laughs> lie down on the job, that is. <laughs> well, good night. Uh huh. Kokichi knows what's going on. <laughs> Do you think he could tell? Oh nah, goodness. of course not. Who knows? It's hard to tell with him. He's always spouting random nonsense. True. That's his best quality. Anyway, let's hurry. Angie's in her lab, right? <sighs> okay. Take the map. No one else here. Cool. Wait a second. Hold on. Before I... Shuichi, where are you going? I should be preparing for the ritual in the Ultimate Artist Research Lab. Oh, okay, darn. They're not going to let me go other places. I wanted to check out the... Uh... Place with all the weapons. <clears throat> How about here? Hey! Uh, yeah, they're not letting me look around. Darn it. <laughs> hmm. I'm sure I can't go to the computer room either. Well, I know one thing I can at least check up on. How many heads? Is it, is it, uh, 16 4 again? Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. And nothing on that. Yep, it's still empty. Still blank. All right, what about the back door? Oh, Shuichi, not that way. Huh? What? Isn't Angie in here? Um, yeah, but we should go in through the front door. Why? What? Huh? Why? Listen up. I'm going to challenge Angie to make her stop. So I need to face her head on from the front door, fair and square. So what? I don't really think that matters. Well, well if it'll make Tenko feel better. Okay, okay. Fine, do whatever you want. <laughs> we got a whole dialogue just for entering the wrong door. Why is it important that we enter through this door, huh? Why? All right. It's right here. Just when I reach my hand toward the door. <gasps> oh, wait, I'm pretty sure that door is locked. Locked? Ah, ah that's right. Angie did say that she locks the room she's working. We'll just knock. I'll grab the doorknob anyway just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. Got a minute? Move. <laughs> she pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door now. Yeah, see, that's the sensible thing to do. Hey! Wait, Maki, you can't do it like that. Stop being a little Miss Impatient. Then... How should I do it? Um... She will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. I think I'll turn to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's Tenko. I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh, oh Tenko. Yes! Yeah, it's me. After Tenko answered the door, the door flew open. Yeah! Can I help you? Huh? Huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um... Oh! I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to get acquainted with Atua. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please come in! No. Uh, no, it's not that. Well... Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well... Well, I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But, but, we weren't prepared for what we were about to see. What? Wax sculptures, right, right, right. Wax sculptures, you can make those. Huh? Kaede and Rontaro? Kurumi, Ryoma? 
made them. Don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? Huh? You made them? Uh, yep. Yep. They're my very own handcrafted wax e effigies. Huh? Wax effigies? Why? Of course, of course. Why? For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh... Um, according to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy of the deceased to perform the ritual. Come on, come on! So, I went ahead and made these. But you made all four of them. Uh, but I thought you already decided it was be Rontaro. Why would you make all four of them? Uh... Simple dolls probably would, would have been better. But once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. <laughs> and before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You Do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? Hmm? What? Well, I mean, sh sh you're an assassin, so you also do cruel things. But I guess, do you not do cruel things innocently? Is that the difference? But... It's incredible. For a second, I thought they were real. Yeah, it's like the real thing, but... Yeah. Wax doll, Kaede. Kaede! Come back, Kaede! Looks exactly like Kaede. The face and body, it looks like the real thing. But actually... Rontaro. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Rontaro. But actually... Yeah, but actually, but actually, but actually. Well... Try, you try persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. But I know Maki isn't very good at persuading people, so it's up to me. The fact that Angie can do things like this without a care is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop Angie. Not you were here to stop Angie, but okay. Hey, Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm-hmm. I see, I see. Consider what exactly? Remember, the ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um... I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember what that this was Madakuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. You can't reason with her. This is what Atua said. Atua said so, so it must be right. This is Atua's will. You can't reason with religious fanatics or cult fanatics. You can't religion. You can't reason with fanatics because fanatics are fanatical. The whole point is that you can't reason with them. If you could reason with them, they wouldn't be fanatics. Uh... But the dead can't really come back to life. So the people who died must still be alive. No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes, I'm positive, especially after seeing the wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real body still had traces of a soul. What? I don't know what you mean by traces of a soul. Okay, come on now, Shuichi. A soul desperate to live, struggling, fighting for life. That's something that can never be replicated. But, hmm, I wonder if that's gonna come up again later. The fact that he's saying that the they, they all he noticed that they all had a soul. When it comes up that inevitably, when it comes up that we're all clones or something, and everybody's gonna be panicking about how oh no we don't actually have a soul because we're just clones. I, I don't know, just a thought. No matter what technology you have, you can't fake a soul. That's true. Ryoma, Kurumi, Rontaro, and Kaede are all dead. Okay. I agree. I have no doubt that their deaths were real. And Maki would know. <laughs> Maki would know. Trust me, I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm-hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. Woohoo! Then if we do the ritual, will, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery! Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has, who has died can't be resurrected. But, but... Hmm. But that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. And I actually believe that. I believe that in the end of the game, everyone who has died up until now will come back. Maybe not everybody will survive to exit wherever... To, whatever all this is. I feel like not everybody is going to get out of this alive, but I feel like a lot of people are going to come back. 
So, if these four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. <laughs> that must be right, because Atua is never wrong. Um... You're not going to stop this, are you? Of course, of course. Of course not. This is Atua's will. Hey. This is your will, not Atua's. No? No, uh, it's Atua's. Atua told me that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it. We can't defy a direct command from Atua. Get punished. Or else you will get punished, you know. Uh... You're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside th all thoughts of escape. Is that so? There's no point in talking anymore. Uh... Hmm? Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. Just beat her up, Maki. <laughs> You're gonna you slow me down? I'll turn you into wax effigy. <laughs> Hey. And go. Let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was pretty obvious that she could not be reasoned with. After failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly, we reluctantly left the lab. Hmm. Still love this yeah. theme song in here. It's nice and weird. It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your rooms. Right, right. Oh, and uh -oh. it's safe to say that Tinko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Uh? But, but. It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you, because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this place our paradise. It's probably that's probably not ideal. It probably would have been better for her to not come with us on this, and for her to, for her to keep her status as an infiltrator. Yeah. What's going on? Here we go. Why? Why are Suichi and Maki here? They're not on the student council, and it's nighttime. Here we go. It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Enko simply simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. She betrayed us. Sounds like a big problem, but if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Yeah, she just... Uh, he, Himiko just doesn't want to have to worry about anything. Doesn't want to have to think about anything, huh? Jeez. And you are loved by Atua, Atua in return, Himiko. <laughs> so stop it, you're making me blush. Cut it out already! Enough already! Tenko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah? Yeah? Himiko! Please snap out of it! Aren't you a mage? Uh, that hurts. Let me go. Uh, <laughs> Let me go. Why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? You can't even see that. Then you're not a real mage at all. What was that? What? What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it. Let me go. Get mad. Get upset. Yell at me. Just fight back already. Do something. Uh, um. Nico, let's just leave it be for now. Uh. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't believe I just yelled at you. Uh. You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you get some rest. Bye, Yonara. Sound good? Until then, I continue my preparations to welcome back our friend. Oh, poor Tenko. And Himiko, what is wrong with you? You're better than this. Come on. Himiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. I'm disappointed in Himiko. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. <clears throat> dot dot dot. Um. At least Kokichi will never disappoint. He will always, he will always be best boy. <laughs> Why indeed. <clears throat> I said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do. Uh, I know she'll never, she'd never hate me, but. She'll demote me from being best friend to just a friend. Huh? Now, uh, best friend, friends are supposed to, they're supposed to be able to call each other out. Didn't one of the characters say that earlier? I think they did. You guys were best friends? Uh, no. Well, if you round up to the nearest whole number, we we're basically best friends. I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Was it one of the monocubs that said that? It must have been something like that. Well. Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right! 
That's right. We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rough patch. Oh, that was a quick turnaround. Hmm. Should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. No. <laughs> really? That's the first time I've heard that. Piece of cake! Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko. Well then, see you tomorrow. Good night. Hmm. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her dorm. To her room. <sighs> bounced back rather fast. I guess I didn't need to worry. No, nah, she's just pretending to bounce back. She's still worried. She's trying to not... She's trying to ignore it and not be worried about it. Oh. Uh, you were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? <laughs> huh? <laughs> There's that habit again. I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about the ritual? Have you given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing your her mind might require less orthodox methods. You need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. It's great to have Maki finally working with us and on our side. Maki hurried back through her room. Hmm. So Maki's gonna think about it too. I didn't expect that. Yeah, I didn't either. I'm glad. Especially now that I'm able to talk about things more with Maki. I don't know a lot about this place, but... I don't know a lot about anyone either. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Not knowing a lot about everybody? Hmm. It's a good thing. If they died and you weren't too attached to them, I guess? It's a bad thing if you don't know about them so you can't stop them? Is that what he's trying to say? In a past life, I was a fish. Was this... Uh, what? I grew up in a pond in a ritual town, but I always dreamed of the city. Is this a, like a, an E.T. reference or, or something? One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. I actually never watched E.T., by the way. So I don't know. Or is it Kiki's Delivery Service? I also never watched Kiki's Delivery Service, by the way. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human school. But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor and because of how I would flop around on my desk. Why are you flopping around on your desk? And because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. Are you a fish? You're a fish. Oh, no, you said you were a fish, obviously. Yeah, he literally said he was a fish. Sorry, I was talking over him, so I forgot he said he was a fish. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That's why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone. I see. Good to know that you were a fish in your past life. You were a, bull a fish that was bullied. Are we gonna get dot dot dots again? We sure are. He's gonna have to talk once the class trial starts. Oh, someone ringing the doorbell. The intercom? It's early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. All right, well, we'll find out who it could be next time because uh, well, I know we're not at the uh, the murder yet in, in uh, the last few times we have like done a whole session that goes all the way from the end of the last trial till the next murder and, and till the next investigation. Uh, but this time I, I think I'm stopping a lot. I'm, I'm probably stopping like right before it. I'm stopping a little bit short, but that's okay. Next time we'll do that part and the whole investigation, I'm sure. I am so glad that we got to hang out with Maki as much as we did. Obviously we didn't get to completely hang out with her all the way, didn't completely finish her route. What interests, what makes me curious though, is those things in the casino, like that, uh, uh, that love key or whatever, like, is that something that you give to somebody and then you, you can go take them to the love hotel? I'd imagine that's how that kind of thing works. But what about a character that dies super early on? How would you possibly get enough coins to buy that key and take them to the hotel or hang out with, uh, maybe you have to hang out with a max and max them out before you can do that too. How would you get enough? coins to do that early on 
it doesn't seem very reasonable. So that is always confused me a little bit. But if everyone comes back, as Angie said, then that might make a little bit more sense. The people who died come back and then we can hang out with them again. And then all that stuff gets unlocked. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I'm just wonder I'm just curious how long this game is going to go because um, obviously I know that there's at least 5 chapters uh, because when I looked the thing up it said like something about getting all the way to chapter 5 but that's not there there's probably even more than that I think because so far we've only had two people die in each murder we have not had any multi murders yet I feel like that's coming. I feel like that's something that's likely to happen maybe this time or something sometime soon. I don't think we'll ever have, I don't think we'll not have any multi-murders, but it's possible. But if people start coming back to life, then this game could be very long. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like, if everybody comes, if, if somebody dies again and then everybody just comes back to life, then suddenly we have a whole lot more people to, to die again and that, that's going to make for some interesting dynamics if somebody who was killed comes back and their killer comes back at the same time. That would be weird. It would be especially weird if they actually do remember their death and they do rem and the person who killed does remember killing. I don't think that's going to be the case, but if they did, that would be very <laughs> very odd. It, like it would be a very odd situation for them to be in. But again, I'm assuming that they're just going to get their default memories. The ones that they're supposed to have, just of their non-clone past life. That I'm still I'm still sticking with that theory. And of course I'm still sticking with the theory that we're on Mars. <sighs> Do I have anything else to say? Kokichi is great. I still really like Kokichi. I still am really glad I've been hanging out with Kokichi. And I still want to max out his route next after hanging out with uh Maki as much as I possibly can once uh, that's I'm I'm just I'm also just so happy that I was able to hang out with Maki I've been wanting to do that for so long and the game has never left me and it's always been such nonsense And now the game finally did and they were generous and allowed me to do it Four whole times. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool It's a shame that I'm not able to hang out with some of these other characters that I like like Kibo uh, and uh, and Gonta and uh, and Kaito but I have to prioritize the ones I like the most. I want to see their routes, the ones I like the most. I want to see their routes to the end. I do, uh, I don't think that Kokichi is going to die anytime soon. So I'm not too worried about being able to finish his route. Uh, but if, if he did die really soon, that would be quite a huge plot twist. <laughs> he does not seem like a character that's going to die early. He seems like a person who's meant to be in this game to make things interesting, to stir things up. And he definitely does that very well. Uh, and I really like what he adds to the game. He's, like I said, very much like Nagito, but in... A, he's a very much a nicer Nagito, though. Nagito was really insane. Like, completely screwed up insane. Kokiji is a more normal insane. He's actually a more reasonable and... Like... I don't know what the word is. He's not a malevolent kind of insane. He does. He, he's just a a trickster kind of insane. That's what he feels like. Whereas Nagito, Nagito, you could feel like a malevolence to his insanity, and also like like a bene a malevolent benevolence to his insanity. That's what it was. Like he would try to help have hope spring up so strongly and add so much despair and he was so extreme about it but Koki kokichi is definitely a more reasonable person <laughs> and i liked nagito as a character and i thought he was very interesting um but i think i like i can what's the way to, to say this i feel like i can enjoy kokichi as uh I don't know if I can say enjoy more as a character because I enjoy, I think I enjoy Nagito more as a character, but like I can, I can root for Kokichi more. That's what I am. That's what I'm trying to say. 
both of them are really great characters and I really enjoy both of them, but I, I feel like I can root for Kokichi more and that's why I like him a little bit more than Nagito. I never felt like a, I could root for Nagito and that's definitely not, that, that's definitely the, the point. You're not, I don't, I don't think you're really supposed to be rooting for Nagito in a lot of the things that he's doing, even though sometimes he's doing things for the good of everybody. He does them in a way that's way too much. But Kokichi, the way that he does things isn't always too much. <laughs> and uh, that's something that I like. So, uh, I don't know. What else What else can I say? The, the whole stuff with the Tua is obviously complete insanity. The whole um, cult thing. Not something we've had to deal with before in a Danganronpa game. I actually like how unique that is. I feel like that added a lot of freshness and a lot of flavor to like what's going on in the story. To have a character like create a cult around like a, around herself and create like a whole faction. Like we never had such split factions, I don't think, in the other Danganronpa games. The most, I like in Danganronpa 1, I guess we had the Togami and um, Toko faction. But well, that doesn't really count as a faction, it's just two people. In Danganronpa 2, was there any factions? No, there was just, um... Uh... The Kuzuryus, right? There was... No, the, one of them was a Kuzuryu. It was, uh... The Kuzuryu guy and also his... His... Ninja lady. I forget their names, darn it. It's been a while, okay? But those two, right? Those count, those maybe are their own faction, but we never really had something like this, where somebody decides to split off like a whole group and, and separate themselves off from, from the rest. I guess in a sense in Danganronpa 2, we did that to Nagito. We pushed him out and excluded him from the group, but that doesn't really count either. This, this is all, this is, this is just the, the first situation where we've had like, a person create like a whole faction around themselves that and like have a whole another large faction against them. It's a dangerous situation, a very dangerous situation. And it definitely makes me, it's definitely effective in making me not like Angie. I was always, I never really liked Angie to begin with. Uh, I never liked her, her religious nonsense to begin with. And now that she's taken it this far and used it to her, her advantage, and manipulated people to such an extent. Yeah, it's it's definitely gotta stop. The stuff with Kaito, man, I really, am, I don't know, I can't really speculate too much on what that is about, like why he's acting the way he is. I can only assume that maybe Angie, I don't know, maybe Angie threatened Kaito somehow. I don't know how though. I don't know how Angie would have threatened Kaito to have him behave. But he's- the way he's freaking out is so extreme. So I don't know. It says he dislikes the occult, that's interesting. Yeah, I think- uh, I think that's all I got to say. We'll see what ends up happening in the next one. Obviously, something's gonna happen very soon. Somebody's gonna get killed. It's gonna be... Angie's fault, probably. But I don't think Angie's gonna be the murderer. If I had to guess at this point, the person that's gonna be di gonna die is gonna be Kaito. It's gonna, they're gonna try to pin it on Mew. Uh, sorry, not Mew, Maki. And the person who did it will probably be Possibly Mew, and the reason I say that is because there's a ship growing between Mew and Kibo, and I don't think Kibo would kill anybody, but I don't know. I feel like either I feel like one of them might kill somebody because of the fact that they suddenly got very buddy buddy with each other, and it would be heart wrenching if one of them got was a murderer and then ended up dying. I feel like that's the kind of thing that Don Gunrapa would do, but that's just in a narrative sense. If I think from, if I try to not be meta about it, then Sumugi is the one that I would suspect of being the murderer. Because she hasn't, well, that's also, I guess, a meta reason. Because she hasn't done anything. <laughs> She's been very much in the background and hasn't been standing out at all. 
Oh, or maybe, actually, maybe Golta. Golta would actually make the most sense because he's super easy to manip manipulate. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, Gonta killing Kaito would make a fair bit of sense. Gonta killing Kaito because Angie instructed him to. I think that has some decent possibility to it. I think there's no chance that... There's no chance that... Uh... Kor uh, Kokichi dies. There's no chance that Korikiyu dies. Hmm. Himiko would po It's actually possible that Himiko could get killed. That would really anger Tenko, though. I don't think there's any possibility that Tsumugi is the one that dies. And Angie dying would be quite a twist, but I, I don't think that'll happen either. Mew dying is also unlikely. Well, so those are my thoughts. Those are my thoughts. I think that's all I got to say. I forget if I save, but I'm just going to save again just in case because that's what a true gamer would do. So that's it. That's all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed watching this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.